Created for comics back in 1963, Iron Man is one of Marvel's most famous superheroes. Even though there's nothing all that super about Tony Stark. Much like Batman, Iron Man's abilities are all wrapped up in gadgetry only a billionaire genius could afford. So without that special suit, Stark's only real powers are away with the ladies and a twinge of alcoholism. I need a drink. That doesn't make Iron Man any less badass, though. So we're taking a look back at his entire video game legacy. Iron Man! Iron Man first appeared in arcades back in 1991 as a playable character in Data East, Captain America, and the Avengers. Armed with a devastating punch, repulsor beams, and even the ability to take flight, it was an impressive debut indeed, as one of the only games that had an authentic comic book look and even full voice acting. I can't lose! Sadly, he only shows up in the NES port, basically to get killed in the opening intro. No! For his next appearance, Iron Man was essentially demoted to an assist character in the scarcely seen arcade fighter, the Avengers in Galactic Storm. I guess Iron Man had to make room for those more popular Avengers like Black Knight, Crystal, and Thunderstrike? Even in Iron Man's playable console debut, he had to share the spotlight with XO Man of War and Heavy Metal, a crossover with Valiant Comics for PlayStation and Sega Saturn. But in the late 90s, Iron Man belonged to Capcom. He was proudly selectable alongside Captain America, Wolverine, and Spider-Man in 1996's Marvel Super Heroes War of the Gems for Super Nintendo, and he was among the handful of famous faces in Marvel Super Heroes, the precursor to Capcom's mega-popular crossover fighting series. After a short break from that, Iron Man came roaring back in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Other than a starring role in a Game Boy Advance game, the early 2000s were a little dark for Iron Man, as he was basically reduced to unlockable appearances in X-Men Legends The Rise of Apocalypse and Tony Hawk Underground? No! Then, after a brief cameo in the ridiculously violent Punisher game, Iron Man was back on the rise, joining the enormous roster of playable characters in Marvel Ultimate Alliance and as a main player in EA's Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects. Luckily, after that, nearly every game with a Marvel logo featured a significant appearance by the Man of Very Literal Steel. From card games to pinball to iPhone to Little Big Planet, Iron Man's status as a Marvel mainstay was officially solidified. He finally got a big budget game of his own in 2008, and then another, and then some DS games, all to coincide with his blockbuster movies, of course, and he even made a brief appearance in The Incredible Hulk, courtesy of Sega. The kiddies have seen him in three titles in the Super Hero Squad series, and you guys have probably dropped a smart bomb or two on your buddies in either Marvel vs. Capcom 3 or Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Sadly, there's no next-gen Iron Man game to coincide with a 2012 Avengers film. There's a free-to-play Facebook game called Avengers Alliance to keep his company, and this first-person Iron Man concept footage from an allegedly canceled Avengers game from THQ only makes us yearn for what might have been. We wouldn't count out the possibility of a full-blown Avengers game sometime in the near future. We imagine it can only be a matter of time before Iron Man makes another video game appearance.